Hey friends, it's Kip Icon, and welcome back to Kip Plays Danganronpa. We are in Chapter 2, and we have just explored the entirety, I suppose, at least that's what it's telling us, the entirety of the second floor of Hope's Peak Academy, so we're about to discuss what we've all found. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, how did it go? Did anyone discover any interesting new anything? Yes, indeed. There's a library. Okay. And a pool. A freaking pool. And locker rooms filled with exercise equipment. Well, there was not, however, anything resembling an escape route. Yeah, she's right. I see. Well, hey, there's no reason to get all sulky. Wait till you hear about my amazing discovery! Quiet down and listen! The warehouse and bathhouse on the first floor of the dorms are now open! Oh, nice! Oh, right, we couldn't go in the warehouse before, or the bathhouse. You hear me? And the warehouse is chock full of food, clothes, whatever you want! There's so much, it's insane! <laughs> it sounds like maybe a great place to find a murder weapon, right? So go ahead and stuff yourself through the gills whenever you feel like. <laughs> Are you okay with this? Keep in mind, of course, that going out at nighttime is still prohibited. Please do not forget. Yo. Okay, and what about a f effing way out of here? You find anything like that? Oh, well. Um. What? There wasn't anything in the warehouse we could use to get our asses out of here? Nothing? Uh, unfortunately, nope. Not that I saw. Oh, <laughs> look at his face. He looks so ashamed. Oh, poor thing. I don't know. I have a little dose of humble pie there. Hey, come on. You effing people. With your effing corn hair, Mondo. Jeez. What? Who gives a S if we have a goddamn pool now or a warehouse or whatever the F? Stop fucking around. We're still trapped in this piece of S school. We need to find out a goddamn way out. <laughs> now, now, there is no point in taking your anger out on us. Adaptation is the key, yes? For now, we must each find a way to enjoy our current situation. You piece of... Whatever you say, you effing loon. For now, let's just continue our investigation and let everyone know if you should discover something. So then... So, are we done for today? Yeah. Well, yeah. I guess so. Aww. Aww. The air seemed to suddenly grow heavy again. Was this the mastermind's plan to give us hope just to turn around and betray that hope? <laughs> why, why the slow zoom on Tagami there? Ding dong! Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. I'm always a little yeah, nervous when these announcements happen because I'm worried nighttime. it's going to be the announcement that a body's been found. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug bite. I kind of feel like there's already enough for a murder to happen. Like, I feel like we even already have, well, we haven't seen the bathhouse or the warehouse, but I'm like, just what we've seen, there's enough, you know, wriggle room to create a murder mystery within that. We all promise not to leave our rooms during nighttime. There's not much else to do, I guess. I'll just go to bed. Yay, Monokuma Theater time! Love these. Oh, there's like a car and scissors and what is that, a thermos over there now? And a globe? Mr. Monokuma! Mr. Monokuma, do you have a second? I, I don't really like myself. I don't have any kind of skill or hobby I can say I'm super good at. And my grades are totally average too. My reflexes are okay, not great, not awful. I could get into a decent college where I'd make a few friends, maybe even find a normal girlfriend, which is exactly why I don't like who I am. I understand that now. My life is just one giant copy paste. I don't have any imagination. I'm a perfectly average cardboard cutout. You see what I mean, right, Mr. Monokuma? Aw, that's so harsh. Makoto may be normal, but I still think Makoto has a lot going for him. Maybe Good not the brightest. Good morning, everyone! <laughs> it is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another bee 
beautiful day. Well, I'll rise, oh, but I may right. not shine. Oh, wait, what? What? I wanted to let you know that your e-handbooks have been updated. Oh, with the new rule about new the locker have rooms. Been added, so please oh. take a look and enjoy your school life more than ever before. Not just locker rooms, but, um, you know, you can't lend your e-handbook to another student. The new rule has been added to the regulations menu. Let's take a look at it, shall we? You must be referring to yesterday. Loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. Um, regulations. Loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly... Okay. Wait, did that... Was there another rule there? Oh, well, I'll check in another time. But right now, I need to hurry up and head to breakfast. All right, well, let's do that. Let's not dilly-dally. Leave the area, yes. Um, oh! We want to head to breakfast, yes, but what areas did they say? Oh, the warehouse. The warehouse and the... Uh, bath have been opened up to us. Oh, there's a the trash room. Sad thing has happened in the trash room. All right, the warehouse isn't this way. Oh, it's over here. Duh, I remember. I remember. Taka was right. We really can't get in here now. But the others must be waiting for me in the dun- Oh, come on. All right. Hold my hand, why don't you? Morning, Makoto. Good morning. Is everyone here already? Yo, yo, yo. Nope, still waiting on Byakuya and Taka. Byakuya is no su oh, Byakuya is no surprise, but it's strange Taka's not here yet. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Knowing Taka, I imagine he is trying to get the king of tardiness up and out of bed. Hmm. I'm sure they'll be here soon enough. Just be patient. Let's see. I don't mind waiting for them, but there is one problem. Which is. <sighs> I am thirsty. Hey, come on. How the hell is that a problem? <laughs> Ifumi, would you make me some tea? Wait, what? Huh? <laughs> Milk tea, if you please. Well... Why, why me? Let's see... Your roundish figure reminds me of the owner of the coffee shop I used to frequent. That's your reason. This is fine. I can feel my throat drying out. Quickly, please. Oh. Um. Uh, uh, okay. Wait, is... Is Hifumi into Celeste? I thought he was only into 2D girls, at least that's what he says. Apparently unable to refuse Celeste's order, Hifumi sculpt his way into the kitchen. And a few minutes later... Thank you for waiting! Hifumi reappeared with a tray in hand, the gentle aroma growing stronger as he approached. Mm-hmm, finally. You could have made some tea for the rest of us, you know. No way to I emphatically about decline, you're not my type this. at all! <laughs> Hmm? It's all about the law of causality, basic instinct, act and react. Grr. Well then, if you don't mind. A small smile played across her lips as she held the teacup delicately in her hand. Oh. Wait. She cocked her head to the side. And threw the cup as hard as she could at the wall. Celeste, have you lost it? What? What the? Hey, what are you doing, my little white rabbit? I hate this kind of tea. Um, I don't understand. Yes, indeed. Imagine we are at a coffee shop, just any normal everyday cafe. I sit down and I order some tea. They then ask me, would you like lemon or milk? Now, further imagine that I replied, ah, oh, yes, I would like milk tea, please. In this case, along with my tea, they may bring me a small container of milk, yes? <sighs> but this is not for me. I am among those who prefer the milk to be part of the process from the outset. The fragrance is just so overwhelmingly sweet that way. Adding milk or lemon right before you drink is like dousing your fries in ketchup. More condiments. If you're never looking for a cafe, I first review their menu to see if it offers the proper style of milk tea. And I cannot acknowledge any milk teas that does not add the milk during the brewing process. Ay ay ay. If I had to describe our shared reaction to what we just heard, I'd have to go with wide-eyed bewilderment. Um, I went to all that trouble to make you that tea, and you wanted me to go even farther? 
Yes, I realize it can be a bit of a hassle. Even in cafes that offer proper milk tea, it is always more expensive than simple tea with milk. It takes more time to prepare, surely, but... <laughs> Why even bother creating a menu if you are not going to offer the highest level of quality? I don't know why she's kind of turning German on you, but, uh... Don't really have the handle on her accent in general, in case you couldn't tell. Well, um, we don't actually have a menu. You little bitch. Whoa! Look at that face! That does not matter! Hurry up and bring me what I asked for, swine! Say what? What? <laughs> Oh my gosh, that piggy squeal was just the best thing. Okay, your little piggy will bring it right out. Mm-hmm, I do so love coercion. You were like a totally different person just now. Shit. Yeah, yes, you really went psycho there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I knew there was more to her when I first met her. I'd hate to have her as an enemy. Seriously, man, she's one scary chick. The dining hall doors flew open and one of the late arrivals came storming in. It's gotta be Tagami, right? Storming in? Oh no, wait, what? Don't tell me Tagami's dead. But, <laughs> bad news everyone, there is a mystery afoot. Huh? Okay, good, at least it's not a dead body. Huh, what happened? <clears throat> it would seem Byakuya refuses to leave his room. I stood there pressing his doorbell over and over, but he never showed himself. Maybe he just wasn't there. I think maybe... I'd like to think so, but I'm worried something might have happened to... Wait, what? What? What he meant by that? He didn't have to say anything else. Everyone understood exactly what that might mean. It might be a good idea if we all split up and go look for Listen him. I was just about to suggest the same thing. What's your problem? Stop trying to one-up everyone. Um... Okay, then I'll go check his room one more time. I'm just gonna keep on hammering that button until I get a response. Well... Very well, then the rest of us can go check the rest of the building. Uh, um... Yeah, before it's, you know, too late. Oh no. Or is Tagami setting up a murder and having everyone split up in order to have the shenanigans take place? Anyway, we have to just do our best to find Byakuya. So where might Byakuya have gone? Maybe he went to go check out the second floor of the school again. Oh yeah, I mean, he might be in the library. What is your deal, Celeste? Celeste, aren't you going to help look for Byakuya? I have not had my tea yet. Huh? As for me... Until my thirst is satisfied, I have no urge to do anything. <laughs> if you're in a hurry, feel free to motivate Hifumi to move faster. Uh, okay. But aren't you being kind of selfish? Yeah, seriously. Hifumi, you don't have to do this, you know, unless... Unless he likes being ordered around? Mm-hmm. Ah, Mr. Negi, Nayegi, what's going on? Well, nobody's seen Byakuya this morning, so we've all decided to go look for him. What? What? That's no good at all! However... However, this little piggy needs to... I have a holy edict to deliver a proper milk tea to my master. Wait. To bless this undeserving swine with such an honor, I will serve you with my heart and soul. Uh, okay, good luck with that. Nafumi's created some creepy alternate reality for himself. Yeah... Weird. Smiley Meat, do you have a coin for me? I bet the girls will go crazy sending me this biblical so the cakes and sweets and stuff. Yeah, alright, how about is there a coin in the veggies? No. A coin in the camera, a coin in the kitchen knives. That one specific knife is still missing. Well, yeah, I hope they don't bring it back, just put it through the dishwasher and hang it back up. Saika took one of the knives that was there and then she... Yep, we remember. We were all there, Makoto. Alright, I would like to take a look at the stuff on the first floor first. The bath and also the... The bath is this way, right? Yeah. And the warehouse. Ooh, are those massage chairs over there? And a scale. Using this massage chair would make me feel kind of old. I hate massage chairs. It just feels like plastic rubbing up against you hard. Too hard. Um, okay. 
I know, Mondo. I'm gonna get to you. Lockers. One of them is unlocked, but I don't see anything inside. Um. All right, Mondo. What's up? Yo. How's it going? You find him? No. Hey, come on. Yes, man. Where the hell did he go? He's got his head stuck so up, so far up his ass. Who knows what's going on with him? I figured maybe he was taking a bath or something. By the way. So what about you? You a morning bath kind of guy? Oh yeah. After spending all night riding your hog, winding the wind in your face, there's nothing better than a morning dip. The hot water loosens you up and the heat of your soul gets your heart and body pumping. Sh sure thing, I'll have to take your word for all that. <laughs> what? You don't know what I'm talking about? Effin nerd. Hell yeah. Guys gotta expose themselves to each other, you know? Come with me next time, you'll see. Uh... I'll think about it, but I mean, it's not like you've been riding your hog here in the school, right? I didn't see any motorcycles. Oh, cool! Wow, it's like a steam bath! Wow, I would love to go to one of those right now. This bathtub is huge! And anything else to look at? So, you'll have to let me know, if you friends know, do they... You don't use soap in a bath like this, right? No, obviously you don't. There are showers in the in the dorm rooms. Never mind. Forget I ever asked that question. Ooh. Oh, I thought it was just going back out, but there's an actual, like, sauna in here. What's this? Is this the heat source for the sauna? Yeah. <laughs> have you never been to a sauna, Makoto? Um. Oh, that's it? Huh. All right, Arta leave the area. So we have the sauna, the actual bath itself. There's probably one that's hot and one that's cold. The bathhouse. And what would you call this, the locker room? Hmm, I guess there's no name for it. But we have the bathhouse locker room and we have a pool locker room. All right, now let's head to, if I can find my boutons. Let's head over here to the storage room. Mm. Oh, cool. Oh, it's smaller than I was expecting. All right. This is one of the monitors. Right now it's just showing the school crest. Um. Oh, there's lots of stuff to look at, okay. There's all kinds of stuff piled up everywhere. I could never get half this stuff in the outside world. There's all kinds of, okay. All kinds of stuff piled up everywhere. I get kind of excited looking at it. From basic ingredients to snacks and candy, it's everything anyone could ever want or need. A surveillance camera. Someone's using the, ca oh, right, right, right. As much as it gets on my nerves, I better leave it alone. Is this a can of, or is that a toilet, is that toilet paper? Oh, is this the fridge Sayaka mentioned? It's stuffed tight with food and drinks. There's all different kinds of food stacked up. Wait, did I? No, I think that's everything, wait. Yeah, that's everything. Aha! I see you came to search this area as well, Makoto. But you were one step too late. I've already finished up my investigation and there was no trace of Byakia here. You hear me? An army marches on its stomach as they say- In other oh. words. I've never heard that before, but I guess, you know. Yeah, feed him. So I thought maybe he would come here to have his fill. Mm -hmm. We must all eat. Eat until there's nothing left to eat. You understand? Anyway, now is no time to get discouraged. We must head elsewhere and continue our search. Yeah, you're right. All right. Well, then that's everything. I have a feeling I know where he is. Where a Tagami clan member would be. And I can warp there on my map. Oh, good, because I haven't seen the map of the second floor yet. Here we go. All right. Yeah, let's warp here. Oops. 
Not using that button, you're not gonna warp Kip Icon. Here we go. Go! All right. Hey, Chihiro, what's up? Um... Love her poofy skirt. Oh, hey, Makoto. So, did you find Byakuya? Uh, I'm sorry. No, I didn't see him anywhere. I see. But... Somehow, Kyoko figured out where he might be. Huh. You know? Kyoko's so amazing. She's so cool, she's smart, and she seems really tough. She's definitely smart, that's for sure, but tough? Compared to, say, Sakura or even Hina, she doesn't seem all that different from Chihiro. I don't know, I, th I, think, I think she's pretty tough. Is it weird to compare them like no. that? Uh, all right. I think, oh. Hey. Wasn't expecting him to be in the bathroom. So you thought to come here too? Huh? So... If you think about what Byakuya was so interested in yesterday, you can probably guess where he is right now, right? Huh? What was it Byakuya was interested in again? Well, he's probably in the library. Then why was she standing by the bathroom, I wonder? When I opened the door to the library and looked inside... Oh no! I mean, as much as I hate Takami, I don't want to see him dead. I cried out in sudden surprise. Byakuya? Oh. Uh, you're not dead at all. Of all the things I'd imagine, this most definitely wasn't one hey, of them. uh, what are you doing? Yeah, just drinking tea? Reading a book? I'm fishing. What does it look like I'm doing? <laughs> I'm trying to read, so if you could be quiet. Oh, sorry. Wait, no! <laughs> what are you doing here? Everyone's super worried. We've all been looking for you. Who asked you to do that? Because we're all supposed to meet up in the morning and eat together. We made a promise. Doesn't seem like Tagami is good on promises. As long, you know, he's kind of a sociopath, right? Like anything to get ahead and no one else matters. A promise? <sighs> Can't I get a second's peace and quiet around here? Byakuya snapped his book shut and slowly stood up, smooth and silent as a shadow. Meanwhile, the others must have heard me yell and started showing up one after another. Yo! Byakuya, so this is where you've been hiding! Uh, the heck are you doing here, man? We were very concerned. Hmm. Well, you had no reason to be. I was just reading. I've never read such a coarse novel before, but it might just prove useful at some point. Well... What were you reading? <laughs> a mystery novel. Well... Oh, wait, so are you going to use what you're learning in there to betray us? Yeah, right? Like, that's a great way to learn how to kill someone. Hm, and get away with it. Don't be stupid. Yeah! It's just something to keep in mind. Well, yeah, well, what? Naturally. If I decide to fight, of course I'll come up with something original. Otherwise, this game of ours will be totally boring, right? Wait, what? So you want to play the killing game? <laughs> it's not often you get to take part in such a high-stakes, high-tension activity. Yep, a risk-taker, a thrill-seeker, Tagami's a sociopath. So if you're going to do it, you have to make sure it's entertaining. Mm -hmm. His words sent a chill down my spine. There was an undeniable smile on his face as he spoke. He looked like he was actually enjoying himself. Enjoying this deranged killing game. Damn you! What the F do you mean, game? That's effed up! Hm. But it is a game. A game of life or death which can only have one winner. That's all there is to it. He is right. It's a zero-sum game. Wait, what? You too? Celeste, are you gonna go rogue too? Huh? Are you okay with this? It is part of game theory. Uh, a mathematical model. In game theory, what we are going through now is called a zero-sum game. In this type of game, in order for one person to gain something, another must necessarily lose something. In other words, it is a situation in which participants must compete for position or resources. I see. You mean like, a kind of elimination match? Actually. Entrance exams, sports tournaments, job openings, most social interactions fall into this category. Everyone must scramble to obtain something which is limited. For you to succeed, someone else must fail. This also applies to the school life we have been subjected to here. In this case, 
Our limited resource is that only one of us can successfully become the Blackened. So in other words... So this game was designed from the beginning to force one of us to try and defeat all the others. That fact... Er, that can't be what they had in mind. <laughs> this is why adaptation is so crucial. If those who want to escape here, or if, if those who want to escape were to disappear, there would be no reason to continue playing the game. What? Well, why would I want to stop playing? It's so much fun. He smiled again as he spoke. The smile was filled with evil intent and twisted his face into something not human. <sighs> it sounds as if you do not acknowledge even the possibilities that you may lose, am I right? Naturally. Of course. <laughs> You do not speak like the others. Exactly what I would expect from the Togami era parent. It's just normal arrogance, isn't it? Just a second! You talk like that, but what if you ended up dead? Not possible. I won't. It simply isn't possible. I mean, you could have been dead this while we were looking for you, man. You son of a bitch! Who the F do you think you are? You know, I still just can't believe it. What? Believe what? That an uneducated, brain-dead, useless piece of garbage like you has survived this long. Wow, the claws are coming out, friends! Piece of shit! I'm gonna effing kill you! Don't make me repeat myself. Like I said, I won't die. <sighs> you keep saying that, but do not bother arguing with him. For him, the concept of losing simply does not exist. He is the ultimate affluent progeny, after all. A boy raised to succeed from the day he was born. He considers victory his destiny and has lived his life accordingly. Tests and challenges are merely ways for him to stand victorious, even if it is a life and death situation. <laughs> is that not so, Byakia? <laughs> At least one of you seems to understand. Isn't it, wonderful? it is because I am the same as you. Games are meant to be won. Oh, maybe Celeste is a sociopath too. I mean, we did see some pretty outrageous behavior in the dining hall That's earlier. Enough. Are you trying to suggest we're on the same level? Close that vulgar mouth of yours. Oh. Well, well, I do apologize. Anyway, let me say this to all of you. You all need to try harder. If an opponent isn't going to serve, or isn't going to give it their best, where's the fun for me? Uh, no. Th that's a, a terrible way to look at it. What? Hmm? It's because... This isn't a game. Our lives are on the line, you know? To kill your own friend is... It's is, horrific. It's horrific. <laughs> Friends? Who decided that? Huh? We're not friends. No, quite the opposite. We're in competition. We're enemies. But, but, but you know... What? But what? Stop trying to force your contradictions on me and just accept what I'm telling you. Um... Um... Come on. Yes, if you have something to say, say it! Otherwise, keep your mouth closed. Uh, no, I'm don't... Sorry. Seriously, Tsugami, you are gonna make me so mad if you're making Chihiro cry. Stop fucking around! Hey, S-Head! You get up on bullying people that can't fight back? You wanna try that on me? Hm. So, you're back to pretending to be friends, huh? And how long do you think that's gonna last? Jesus, shit. F you! What? Is that all you can say? It's unfortunate you would waste your breath on such empty gibberish. You son of a bitch! That's it, you're effing dead! Just a second! Oh, hold on, J just calm down! Piece of shit! I am calm! Oh no, is he gonna punch Tagami? Actually, I don't think I'd mind. Uh, How is this calm? Hmm. Anyway, I don't have any intention of working with the rest of you any longer. To cooperate during an elimination game is... Well, frankly, it's a waste of time, and I hate wasting my time. Waste of time? Engaging in friendly group meals is out of the question. Someone could easily poison our food. And I'd rather not become part of the Last Supper just yet. Ugh, shit. Quit talking like you're in an effing movie or something. Goodbye. All I'm saying is that, ultimately, you're all free to do whatever you want on your own. Goodbye. Without a second glance back, Byakuya left. There wasn't anything we could do to keep him from going. His way of thinking was just beyond anything the rest of us could even comprehend. But... Was he serious about all that? <laughs> he was, without a doubt. Don't fuck with me. Well, F him then. <laughs> but, but what he said, he, he might n not n necessarily be wrong. I mean, can you s say for sure someone won't poison our food? <laughs> hey, come on, you two, Toko. Anyway. Well, it's not like anyone would care even if I w was gone, right? I mean, look, you're very, very self-deprecating, but you've also got to not be so mean to everyone else and then maybe they'll think higher of you. Actually, I, I bet you all will want me gone. You all think I'm d disgusting. None of us think that. Uh, I'm telling you. You just 
think you don't know that. <sighs> I know some people like to play the victim, but man, this is just totally out there. Mm -hmm. You think I just don't know, but, but I do. Y you want me gone, and I'm too sure the rest of you want the same thing, don't you? I hate Toko. Wait. Just let her go. Once she gets going like that, there's nothing you can say to bring her back. Ugh, it's very dysfunctional right now, friends. Ultimately, our breakfast meeting came to an end without answering any questions. Everyone headed back to their rooms. Jeez, I'm tired already. But I don't have time to take even one day off. I need to get myself going. Free time! And in the next episode of Danganronpa, um, I'm gonna off screen, get some more presents from the mono machine, and then when we come back, we're gonna spend some free time with someone, so feel free to leave in the comments who you would like me to spend some free time with. Um, I hope I don't record the next episode before this episode goes up. If I do, uh, sorry about it, but, uh, if I don't, then yeah, leave some feedback and I'll, um, decide who to hang out with. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I have been and I will continue to be Kip Icon as long as you friends continue to follow your drams. Bye!